because the idea is when you can admit that you have something that may be wrong with you, whether you can control whether it's your fault or not, it's something that you can start to at least take action towards a solution. And right. I, I do want to focus on this idea of self-awareness because it seems like it's like this foundational thing that everyone must have in order to really take those things that you, the laws that you have in the book and, and apply that to our real life. Um, right. I'm, I'm curious to know, you know, what what is something that uh, someone can do to gain a greater self of uh, awareness? Is this, is there some sort of tactics that have worked based on people you've worked with or people that have read your book? The first thing is you have to have the desire to want to change. So most people think, no, I am aware. And until you're willing to say, no, that some of the problems in my life actually stem from me and not from other people. I have patterns. If you can't take that first little tiny step and look at yourself and admit that maybe you might be the source of some of these bad patterns in your life, then my book won't have any effect on you. And the number one quality that I distinguished and that determines whether they're, they're successful or not successful is, are they willing to listen to advice? 